tissues. The group of cells that are similar in structure and perform specific or similar function with the same origin is called a tissue. The tissue of plants differ from that of animals. Based on the dividing capacity of the tissues, the plant tissues are classified as meristematic or growing tissue and permanent tissue. Meristematic tissue The tissue which is present at the tip of the plants and helps for their growth is called meristematic tissue. Meristematic tissue is classified into A. Epical meristem. It is located at the tip of root and stem and help for the increase in their length. B. Intercalary meristem. Is seen near the nodes. C. Lateral meristem. The tissue which grow in the lateral manner and help for the growth of root and stem is called lateral meristem. The cells of meristems are arranged in a compact manner with a thick dense cytoplasm and prominent cell wall and divide rapidly. The cell once formed take up a specific role and stop the ability to divide and form the permanent tissue. The process of taking up a permanent shape, size and function is called differentiation. Differentiation helps for the formation of different permanent tissues. The permanent tissues are classified into two types. A. Simple permanent tissue. The tissue which is made up of one type of cells. Example, parenchyma. Colenchyma, sclerenchyma, epidermis, etc. B. Complex permanent tissue. The tissue which is made up of different kinds of cells. Example, xylem and phloem. Parenchyma is a simple living tissue. The cells are round, thin walled with large intercellular spaces. The types of parenchyma are A. Chlorenchyma Parenchyma with chlorophyll They help in photosynthesis Example Chlorenchyma is seen in green leaves Arenchyma The parenchyma with large air spaces in between them They help in floating Example Arenchyma is seen in aquatic plants like lotus. C. Storage parenchyma. The parenchyma which stores food or water. Example, stores food in tubers. Stores water in xylophytes. Desert plants. Colenchyma is simple living tissue. The cells are elongated and irregularly thickened at the corners. It provides mechanical strength to stems of herbs and shrubs. Sclerenchyma is a simple dead tissue. The cell walls are thick without intercellular spaces. It provides mechanical strength to the plants. Epidermis is the simple tissue. It is the outermost covering of cells. It protects all the parts. The cells are flat without intercellular spaces. Stomata are pores enclosed by kidney shaped guard cells. Stomata are present in the epidermis of leaves. Caseous exchange takes place through stomata. Root hairs is long thin hair like. Root hairs are present in the epidermis of roots. They absorb water. In desert plants, the epidermis is covered by a thick waxy layer called cuticle. It prevents transpiration. 
Xylem is a complex dead tissue. It conducts water and mineral salts from the roots to other parts of the plant. The different cells of xylem are trachytes, vessels, xylem parenchyma. Phloem is a complex living tissue. It transports food from leaves to the other parts of the plant. The cells of phloem are CV tubes, CV cells, companion cells, phloem fibers and phloem parenchyma. The animal tissues are classified into four types epithetical tissue, muscular tissue, connective tissue and nervous tissue. Epithetical tissue is the covering or protective tissue of animals. Example, skin. The cell are tightly packed without intercellular space. The types of epithetical tissue are A. Squamous epithelium. The epithetical tissue with thin and flat cells and forming a delicate lining. Example, Squamous epithelium is seen in asparagus lining of mouth, etc. The squamous epithelium which is arranged in many layers is called stratified squamous epithelium. Example, skin. B. Columnar epithelium. The epithelial cells which are long and cylindrical. Sometimes they have hair projections called Cilia. Example, columnar epithelium is seen as lining of respiratory tract. C. Cuboidal epithelium. Epithelial tissue with cube shaped cells. Example, cuboidal epithelium is seen in the ducts of salivary glands and in kidneys. Glandular epithelium. The epithelium which folds inwards to form a multicellular gland. Example, the epithelium present in glands like pancreas and liver and helps in the secretion of enzymes. E. Ciliated epithelium. The epithelium which have hair-like projections called ciliae. Example, respiratory tract. Muscular tissue. Muscular tissue is responsible for the movement of our body. The cells are elongated. There are three types of muscles. A. Voluntary muscles or striated muscles or skeleton muscles. The movements of these muscles are under control. Hence, these muscles are called voluntary muscles. Example, there are striations or lines seen in the muscles. Hence called striated muscles. These muscles are attached to skeletal parts like bones. So it is called skeletal muscles. The cells are long cylindrical and multinucleate. Example, straightened muscles are seen in limbs. B. Non-straightened muscle. These are involuntary and smooth muscles. These muscle cells are cylindrical, pointed at the ends and uninucleated. There are no striations in the muscle, hence called non-straightened or smooth muscle. The movement of these muscles are not under our control, hence called involuntary muscle. Example, involuntary muscles are seen in elementary canal and blood vessels. Cardiac muscle. The name itself indicates these muscles are present in the heart. The cells are branched, cylindrical and uninucleate. The movements of these muscles are not under our control, hence involuntary muscles. Connective tissue. The tissue which connects the internal organs and muscles is called a connective tissue. There are seven types of connective tissues. A. Aerular tissue. The aerular tissue joins different tissues, helps in packing and repair of tissues. 
the cells of areola tissue are called fibroblasts this tissue is seen around blood vessels and nerves b adipose tissue the tissue in which fats are stored is called adipose tissue the cells are called adipocytes example adipose tissue is found below the skin c bone bone forms the framework and supports the body it is a strong and non flexible tissue the bone cells of bone are called osteocytes d cartilage it is a soft bone the cells are called chondrocytes example cartilage is seen in tip of ribs external ear and trachea e ligament ligament is a connective tissue which connects two bones f tendon tendon is a connective tissue which connects muscles to bone g blood blood is a fluid connective tissue there are many cells in the blood the matrix of the blood is called plasma the types of blood cells are red blood corpuscles white blood corpuscles and platelets nervous tissue the nervous system responds to stimulate and transmit the stimulus very rapidly to the concerned organ of the body the cells are called neurons or nerve cells the nerve tissue consists of brain spinal cord and nerves the nerve cell is the unit of nervous system the neuron consists of axon dendrite and cell body the signal that passes through nerve fiber is called a nerve impulse activity aim to observe and identify different types of cells present in a drop of blood under a microscope apparatus required microscope glass slide cover slip dropper needle or lancet alcohol swab procedure clean the fingertip with an alcohol swab and allow it to dry completely with the help of a needle or lancet prick the fingertip gently to obtain a drop of blood place a drop of blood on a glass slide using a dropper cover the drop of blood with a cover slip gently without creating any air bubbles place the slide under the microscope and observe the different types of cells present in the blood observations the blood contains red blood cells or erythrocytes that appears as circular biconcave and red colored cells the blood also contains white blood cells or leukocytes that appear as colorless cells with the nucleus the different types of leukocytes present in blood include neutrophils eosinophils basophils monocytes and lymphocytes precautions use a sterilized needle or lancet to avoid any infections handle the glass slide and cover slip carefully to avoid any breakage avoid applying too much pressure while placing the cover slip to avoid crushing the cells always clean the microscope lens before observing the blood cells to avoid any distortions in the image